Welcome to the next session of ANSYS APDL. In this session, we are going to solve beam analysis of cantilever beam with one end fixed and load applied at the other end. We have solved this numerical by using ANSYS Workbench 3D analysis and also ANSYS Workbench 1D analysis. Now let's try the same numerical by using ANSYS APDL. I will first go to preferences and choose structural, OK. Then I'll go to preprocessor, element type, add, edit, delete, add. I am solving for beam. I'll choose two node 188. You may also choose three node. Okay, you can see here it is chosen. Close. Next, I'll go to material properties. I'll go to material model. I'll choose structural, linear, elastic, isotropic. I'll give the value of E, that is Young's modulus, as 2. E5. This is 2 into 10 raised to 5 Newton per mm square. Next, I'll give the Poisson's ratio. It is 0 0.3. I'm choosing steel as the material. So, these are the properties that I choose for structural steel. This is done. This is done. Material properties. Next, I'll go to sections. Beam. Common section. Now here I can give the cross section for the beam. So let me assume that the cross section of the beam is say 10 by 10 mm. I can see the preview over here. Okay. Now suppose if I don't want to see this again, I'll go to plot, replot. This is done. Next I'll go to modeling, create. Key points. I want to now draw the beam. I'll go to inactive CS. Now my first node is going to have value 0, 0. So I don't have to write anything. I'll leave it as it is. I'll click on apply. Second node. Say the length is what I'm going to give here. Which is the distance between the first and the second node. Say I give it as 500 mm. Okay. So this becomes my beam. Next I'll go to lines, straight line. I will click on both the nodes. Okay. So this is how my beam is going to look like. Next I'll go to meshing, size control, manual size, lines, all line. Now I will give number of element division as say 4. You can give any number of element division. So these are the element divisions that I have given. Next I will go to mesh. Line. I will choose box option over here. And I will select the entire beam. Ok. So now my entire thing is meshed. So meshing ends here. Next, I'll go for applying boundary conditions. As I have told you, I am going to solve for cantilever beam. One end is fixed and the other end is going to show a load of say 1000 Newton in the downward direction. So, I'll go to define loads, apply, structural, displacement. First, I'll go for applying fixed. So, I have to choose displacement. On key point, I am choosing this end 1. Okay, now since it is fixed, so all degree of freedom is 0. You can write your value 0 here or even if you don't write anything, it implies null or 0. So, you don't have to write, it's okay. Now, displacement is done at one end. On the other end, I want to apply force. So, I will go to force or moment on key point. I'll choose the second one. Okay, in the downward direction, I will apply a load of thousand newton okay so this is the boundary condition applied now suppose if i want to see the elements which i have created i'll go to plot controls numbering and here i will choose element number okay so i can see the four 
divisions that I have created. Also, if I want to see the body, I'll go to Blot Control, Style, Size and Shape. I'll click here Display of Element on OK. So I can see the element. Now, if I don't want to see the node numbers, I can go back to Plot Control, Numbering and choose this to No Numbering, OK. So I cannot see the numbers now. Now, if I click here, I can see the 3D view. If I want to see the front view, I can just click over here on the right hand side. So this sets the body in 3D. Also, the boundary conditions are applied. Meshing is done. So I can close my preprocessor now. I will go to Solution, Solve, Current LS, OK. Solution is done. So I will close this and this one. Next, I will go to General Post Processing. There are various ways of seeing the result. With every example that I take up, I show you different options. So currently, let's go to Plot Results, Deform Shape. Say I want to see the deformed plus the undeformed part. Okay. So this is how we can see. You can see the 3D view over here. Or you can see the front view as you want it. If you want to see this in 1D, I'll go back to Plot Controls, Style, Shape and Size and I'll switch it off. So I can only see the 1D beam reflection. If I want, I can animate from here. I can choose number of frames to create 10 and time delay 0 0.5. Deformed plus undeformed, OK. So here you can see the animation. Suppose if I want to save it, I'll go to Plot Control, Animate, Save Animation. Now wherever I want to save the animation, I can save it by say choosing So that's how it gets saved. Next, if I want to see the contour plot, say I want to see the nodal solution, I will go to degree of freedom, displacement vector sum, OK. So here I can see the displacement over the entire body. I can see the various values on the beam. Next, suppose if I want to see the stress on the body, so I'll go to stress in nodal solution. And I will choose one minus stress. Okay, so this is the stress over the beam. Now, suppose if I want to go for results viewer, I can also use this option. I can choose the degree of freedom, displacement vector sum, and I can see the solution, deform shape. Okay, okay, so this is another way of seeing the result. Suppose if I want to see the stress, 1 minus stress, if I want to plot results, I'll click here. So with this, I end the session. I hope you have understood the procedure for solving this type of numerical in ANSYS APDL. See you in the next session. Thank you. Mm -hmm.